Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my uh, morning skincare routine. So yeah, let's get started and I will show you my five step skincare routine. So it's not that many steps, but I will show you which ones they are and uh, the only thing I've already done, I washed my face uh, with lukewarm water and then I pat it dry with a separate towel, a smaller towel that I have for my face and I just pat it dry, but otherwise I haven't done anything. So let's start with uh, my skincare routine that I do every morning, or at least try to do every morning. Uh, so what I start with is this uh, aloe vera BH skin toner from Benton. I really like it, it's an acid toner but it's very mild, so it goes well with my sensitive skin, uh, but it's also very hydrating uh, because it shouldn't irritate your skin. So it's very soothing and hydrating and my skin really likes that, so it's a great to use in the morning. Um, so I take maybe three pumps and then I spread it uh, over my face and I pat it in and I don't go near the eyes since it has acid in it. I try to avoid the eyes because that is a very sensitive area um, and just acids I try to keep away. But I pat it in and it soaks into the skin very fast, it doesn't really stay on top of the skin or anything like that, it absorbs very quickly. Uh, and that's also something I always look for in product. I tried it because it's been such a rave about it. Um, so it's not like groundbreaking for me, but I think it's a really good toner. Uh, so that's the first step, this one. And then I use an ampoule after that, and it's this one. It's Time Revolution Night Repair Provio Ampoule from Misha. Uh, it's an ampoule I absolutely love. I've been using it for maybe the past two years, I think. Um, and I think it's a really nice uh, serum to start the day with. I also use it at night, so I use it both in the morning and in the night. But I use less amount in the morning than I do in the night. Um, but it's really nice, it really hydrates your skin and really makes a difference. I have noticed my skin gets very glowy when I use this and it also makes it very soothing and yeah my skin really likes it and it sinks into the skin immediately so it doesn't really stay on top it just sinks in and does its job I think. Um, and it smells, it has like a flowery scent to it, but it's not that strong. So if you're not fond of that, maybe it's too strong for you. It's a bit thicker, on, like it's not very watery, it's more thick in consistency, but I really like it. It's, it's amazing. And after that one, I go into a snail product. I used one from Cosarex, a brand called Cosarex before, and Night to Six Snail Motion Essence or something like that. Uh, and then I changed this one, Snail Bee High Content Essence uh, from Benton and it's also one of those raving products that influencers talk about. Uh, I haven't noticed that much, um, like I haven't been uh, amazed by it, but I've used other snail products uh, before, so I think it's different if you have not used any before, I think you will be uh, I think it will be more of a wow factor if you've never used Korean uh, skincare before or uh, snail products before. Uh, but it is a good product. It does like hydrate the skin. It does make it that like, calms it down. I've noticed a lot if I have like a pimple or something like that. It really makes it um, soothes it. Um, I do notice that my skin is very healthy, so that's probably because of that as well. So I like it, um, but I like the Cosarex more. Um, but I do think it's a good, it's worth trying, trying it out. 
and I like to use it after the ample because it sort of locks it in. And then I have the eye queen. So now I've done, done three steps. Uh, so I go into the eye queen. This one is also from Benton. I have a lot of Benton products right now. Um, it's Benton Fermented Eye Queen. Uh, so it has a lot of fermented uh, ingredients in it. And I always put my eye cream on my, my ring fingers and then I pat it along my eyes. I used to do it like all the way up to the eye uh, and it will always make me cry or sting my eyes. So I do not recommend that. So if you experience that, then I would recommend putting everything that you around your area, the eye area, further away from the eye. Um, because it does like creeps in towards the eye throughout the day so it does it, you know it gets where it needs to be anyway now the last step of my skincare and that is this marula oil like I like to lock in all the hydrating steps with an oil it's so nice to just apply uh, oil because it spreads so nicely on your skin I think um, but that's basically my last step of my skincare routine. So that is all the steps I do in the morning and then I, the only thing I do after that is I apply this uh, lip balm at the end of it uh, so that I can wear a lipstick uh, or just have nice lips during the day. So there! That's my morning skincare routine. There are five steps plus the lip balm and, um, and I wash the face in the morning. Um, so it's not that advanced, uh, but it is multiple steps that I do, but I find it really hydrating and it really sits well on the skin. And I'm a very big fan of Korean brands, which you might have noticed, um, but they really work well for me. and. Yeah, this is my current skincare routine and I really like it. And if you like this video, please uh, click that thumbs up or if you want to subscribe to my channel, that would be, I will, that would mean so much to me. So please press that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.